Your serious step of the day is sponsored by Soulmart.me. Watch, shop, learn. Namaste, my friend, and welcome to step 23. Step 23 is a fun step, and it can really turn things around rather dramatically after step 22 fires off. And we talked about step 22 being the day of emotion meets emotion, and who knows what the ocean will be and bring. And I talked about how step 22 can come early or late. So step 23 clearly is a conscious state because we're dealing with emotional states and we're dealing with people and their emotional states. Step 23 hits after someone has gone through a step 22. And it depends on the person as to when step 23 hits. Step 23 will definitely hit in the next 24 hours if it hasn't. So the universe will push you into that, that truth and understanding. Um, but it might have hit right after step 22 hit. So. Step 23 is a timeless step. It can last two days, it can last one day. It is the day where you believe or don't believe what you are feeling. So you know people are like, oh my God, I can't believe how good this feels to be with this person. I can't believe how that feels. I can't believe this, I can't believe that. Ah, step 23, eh? You're in the step of trying to bring your feelings and your beliefs, three, in alignment. This is usually a reaction to some sort of dynamic quantum effect of step 22. So for instance, let's just say that in step 22, you went with your feelings and decided to go ahead and go out with the friends tonight. So you went with your feelings and then you met another person that was feeling pretty good too. And that was a, a unique feeling and you had a wonderful time to where the next day, step 23, you're waking up going, I can't believe how good that felt. Or, I can't believe how horrible that was last night. But it's the beliefs. So remember step 23 with the three, belief, I believe. If you remember way back in step three, I believe is what your heart thinks, what your heart resonates with. So we tend to think of beliefs based on education. It's not really education of an absolute objective world. Belief is education of what your heart has experienced on earth and so therefore resonates with. So people have limited belief structures with limited experience. You can't really believe or change until you experience. It's kind of built into the matrix. So we've experienced in past lives. That's why our heart will resonate ahead of time without having experience in this one. So really all boils down to, does the heart resonate? So although step 23 is, I feel it and I believe, what leads to believing, as you well know, is seeing if your heart is in fact aligned with that idea. So, wow, I met someone last night, but they're of a different race. I never thought I would date outside my race, but it felt good. But at the same time, that, that just, I can't believe it. So at this point, in this particular stage, what I always recommend to my clients is you explore. This is the education part of I believe. When you have a, uh, a problem where beliefs what you've been raised or beliefs what you've known or beliefs what you've experienced are causing doubt and you're searching your heart for the right truth, to get your beliefs in line. I want to believe in it. I really want to believe this is going to work. Everyone goes through this process where they're processing and they're thinking and they're processing and they're thinking and maybe they're doing research and gathering information. And this is all very important. This is the education part of I believe or the education part of Sagittarius. So 
Today is definitely a day where a lot of people will seek out new information, seek out to educate, seek out. But what are you seeking? You're seeking the right information that your heart seems to resonate with. And then once your heart resonates with that information, you will say you believe it. It, quote, feels right. So today is really an explorative day where you are kind of putting your foot out there and exploring. Maybe you do believe it. Maybe you do know that today is the day, I mean, that, that this is the right course of action to take or not the right course of action to take. Um, but still, this is a day, like I said, that's timeless. You may have two days of gathering information to do. The next step is step 24. And technically, the universe will push upon the step 24 tomorrow. But as we've been talking since we entered the 20s, because we're dealing with people's feelings now in the master shui, as an astrologer, it's kind of difficult for me to exactly pinpoint when your awareness will hit step 23. And the step 23 moment, if you will, which is 2 plus 3 makes 5, right? There is a moment, there is an idea. This 23 is going to add up to a 5, and I think. And that will be where the mind goes, aha, I'm on top of all this information, or aha, I have found an alignment between my heart and my beliefs, what I know and what my knowledge is. And that is the aha breakthrough moment of I think. And of course, this is your mind, I think, standing on top of all of your feelings, too, right? And all of your beliefs, three. So this is a point where you, once you reach that aha moment, if you pay attention to yourself, you're actually feeling good because the mind's security allows you to relax. And a lot of people are looking for only the aha moment in life, if you notice, like, like a Gemini energy, a step five personality. They're trying to get their mind always in order to feel good about it. And I always say, go straight for the feelings. Don't mess around with the mind. Well, now we're in the master shui 20s. Now we're in step 23. Now we are passionately aiming for whatever it is we're light casting this month. We just had some interesting breakthroughs of 22, and now we're educating ourselves with the possibilities of 23. On 24, which is very interesting, these new possibilities lead to another up or down. All right? So the greatest uh, discovery here is to find that aha moment, let your mind stand on top of it, let your mind digest those possibilities, right, of hitting that five, and, uh, and not to expect anything other than that at this point. Like uh, this is in a way like because we hit a five at the end of the day where we feel it and we believe it, you're burning a lot of consciousness in this particular day and so this is a day where it's almost uh, relaxing to hit that five and that detachment. So I was saying a little earlier, it's like, why don't you just go straight for the emotions? Totally agreed. In most cases, if people have an emotional issue, they should go straight for their emotions. They should not try to think it away. But at this master shui 23 degree, where you are surfing a conscious wave to make reality and manifest what you want, how do you stay on top of that spiritual surfboard? Well, it's a mind, it's a thought. That aha is an idea that will always pull you out of the passion long enough to redirect you from this point of the tra transit to step 29. So from step 23 on to step 29, whatever epiphany you have here is what kind of keeps you going, probably what takes you out of the mayhem again, probably what re-inspires you at step 29. So pay attention to your aha moment. You might need to remember it in order to escape out of the passion, redirect, and jump back in the passion of the 20s again. And when you do find that aha moment, you might want to just go ahead and stay out of the passion for a moment because step 24, things get very interesting again because the four is a quantum jump up from this place. So get your rest. Thank you so much. And I'll see you at 20, in 24 hours for step 24. Namaste. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.